in t around the year 2000, um, we noticed a fuchsia piece of clothing that was caught in the barbed wire across the street from our studio um, in what was at that time an abandoned building. And um, Alain was having dialogue with this young child about art and he asked the little boy if uh, the piece on the barbed wire was art and the little boy said no. The girly and the, and the uh, Alain went and got the camera and uh, took a photograph and proceeded to show the photograph to the child and asked the question again, is, is this now art? And the little boy responded, yes. So essentially that was the first piece that um, we documented in our Barb series, what came to be known as our Barb series. And uh, from, from that point on, uh, we started looking at clothing, which was kind of a pivotal point in our career because we had been working mostly with decollage um, and palimpsest. Uh, so that first photograph instigated a, a new dialogue um, within our work. And we started traveling around the city with camera in hand, uh, searching out for these particular items here and there, which we um, started to collect throughout the years. Um, as a result, we started talking about how we could integrate this into sculpture, which is mainly what we were focusing on at the time. And uh, this piece has been in concept made for over 10 years now. Uh, this was the first time we were able to bring it to fruition uh, because it was the right time, the right space. Um, so it's, it's been an ongoing process that we've uh, been involved with as far as the making of this piece. Well, um, a, a very interesting comment that we've gotten um, a lot recently is uh, when people find out that the clothes is basically dis uh, permanently discarded, uh, so um, it's basically finished with its uh, uh, cycle uh, within, um, within uh, the human race, basically. Um, they, uh, um, they, they, people mention that um, it, uh, it reminds them of death, in a sense, uh, because the clothes are now kind of deemed to uh, be dead or lifeless. Nobody wants them. There's no use for them. And basically their next step is to be buried somewhere in a landfill or something. Um, you know, so we kind of, um, um, you know, we kind of uh, uh, acknowledge those parallels ourselves and are inspired by those parallels to make pieces like this. and, and uh, piece, um, a few other pieces that we've done that it's, it's a lot about placement and, and uh, shape more than um, uh, be uh, figurative because we also take the figurative route. Um, um, so yeah, so we're making comparisons to uh, you know, the, the quantities of, of clothing that's thrown away in our society to uh, episodes of when uh, the same things happen to people. And uh, so we refer to death camps and, um, you know, just uh, certain catastrophic um, um, eras or periods within humanity. And uh, so this is kind of like a reflection of that. It's a reflection of uh, uh, a control of the masses and uh, ultimately a, a, an outcome that is uh, not very pretty. Um, and that's why also we use the red in, the, in a sense that uh, it's spilling out uh, uh, almost as a representation of, of, of the blood, which is what gives life to things. So it's like life is escaping it. And uh, the color palette that we used also refers also to a human flesh and uh, the organs and you know, people from, uh, on the inside and on the outside.